Ah, Mario and Luigi, the franchise that ultimately bit off more than it could chew. Oh, hey guys, Case here. And lately, I've been doing some thinking. Scary, right? What specifically about? Well, for the one person who clicked on this video without looking at the title or the thumbnail, I'm talking about Mario and Luigi. So come with me, my friends, as I regale the tragic tale on what happened to this series and my solution on how to bring it back. So there are probably a lot of people watching this who have no idea what Mario & Luigi is, as they only got into Nintendo with the Switch. That is, assuming there are people watching this video. <laughs> oh. Anyways, in order for me to tell you what Mario & Luigi is, I have to tell you about another game franchise, Paper Mario. Paper Mario is something I'm sure you've all heard of, but the franchise looked much different back when the series first started way back in the year 2000 on the N64. Paper Mario back then was a lot different. It had way more RPG elements, such as using button timing on actions such as jumping or using your hammer. The game was really good and technically impressive, especially for the N64. The game was polished, the pixel art was nice, and the 2D and 3D sprites mixed together well. It also featured a great story, which was unheard of at the time for a story and Mario to be together. Then, a new challenger arose, Alpha Dream. They partnered with Nintendo to give us something truly wonderful, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. The game was great and it carried a lot of gameplay elements from Paper Mario, but there was one core difference between pa Mario & Luigi and Paper Mario. While Paper Mario would go into a more dark and gritty direction with the GameCube, Mario & Luigi captured the feeling of Mario with one thing, randomness. Mario & Luigi was a very silly game, never taking itself seriously. Everyone shouted and insulted Luigi and many other things. Don't worry Luigi, you're gonna get your revenge someday. It was a true environment where anything could happen, just like the Mario games. And this was just the beginning of Mario & Luigi, as they would receive many more installments throughout the years. I'm not gonna cover the entire history today, but let me know if you're interested in some sort of retrospective like that. Paper Mario removed itself from the RPG gameplay and did well something. But while fans grew outraged from Paper Mario, Mario & Luigi stayed on the handheld consoles and was pretty consistent with its gameplay. By the 3DS era, the games began to decline in quality as they had dug themselves into the hole by trying to top one of the greatest RPGs they made in the past century known as Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Alpha Dream made two more original games after which, known as Dream Team, what I consider to be the worst game in the series, and Paper Jam. Then, something unexpected happened. Alpha Dream didn't start their next game, but rather released a remake of Bowser's Inside Story. The remake was mediocre with some new content that was fine. They redid the sprites, but no one really liked that as the DS sprites were very nice. The real absurdity of the remake was the fact that Bowser's Inside Story was a game on the DS, which meant you could play it on the 3DS for cheaper than the 40 bucks the remake cost, but you know, it's fine. Just a cheap cash grab to fund the part of their next project. Wait, what's that? OH NO, THEY'RE MULTIPLYING! Alpha Dream released a second remake, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. Hey, uh, post-production case here, so I actually wrote that Bowser's Inside Story remake came first. Please disregard that, uh, Superstar Saga came first. Uh, Bowser's Inside Story was the second remake. So, um, yeah. The remake was nicely done, in a smooth 60 FPS. The music was redone, but not in a terrible way remakes sometimes do. The game felt great, was polished, and even had extra content. The extra content was fine, but it was cool how it had an entire side story, but the gameplay was that of a mini game flushed out to be an entire side game. So we're all wondering, what is happening to Mario & Luigi? The series was vanishing. Where was our new entry? It had been four years at this point since Paper Jam, the last entry in the series. And then, it happened. On October 1st, 2019, Alpha Dream was shut down due to filing for bankruptcy. The series had been in limbo ever since, and tons of people have been wondering what's gonna happen to the series. It released way too many games too frequently for there just to not be another Mario & Luigi game. Now we're caught up about uh four years later there are many other aspects of the story i could have talked about which i might address someday but that's not why i'm here you're here for my solution about how to fix this series so come with me my friends and let's begin mario and luigi has a couple of issues to address starting with the studio I believe the perfect studio for this is Intelligent Systems. The studio has done a lot of Nintendo first party titles for the Switch, including Fire Emblem, Paper Mario, and WarioWare. Why did I pick those three examples? Well, these games give the team a perfect fit for Mario and Luigi. The game is incredibly random with a lot of strange visual gags. And look at that, they've done WarioWare, which fits that description to a T. 
They need a good story and strategy. Well, they have Fire Emblem. Finally, the combat is literally that of classic Paper Mario. And may I point out that Alpha Dream developed the first two Paper Mario games, which Mario and Luigi were directly inspired off of. Now that we have the studio figured out, they need to figure out how to test the waters. So I propose putting on a remaster of all five games in a collection on Switch. This is partially wishful thinking, considering Nintendo likes to milk things and that most of the games were on the DS or 3DS. But most of the games would be incredibly easy to port. They can also have it where you can play with the original graphics to keep people from complaining about the graphics and how they want pixel art. The only game that would be difficult to port is Bowser's Inside Story, but I know the team can figure it out. Now that the waters have been tested and the collection was a smashing success, the only thing left to do is make a new entry. One day, I might pitch an entire concept of the game, but until then, think of this. Miyamoto says he has something special in the works, snaps his fingers, and the screen fades to black. We see Mario wake up on the ground in a mysterious land. Mountains and trees surround him. He gets up. Gameplay begins. It's 3D! We see a sandbox area in the far distance with Luigi falling down into it, along with Fall Full, Baby Mario, Baby Luigi, and Bowser. Mario runs into the distance chasing them, leaving the logo behind Mario and Luigi. The final battle. Hey, post-production case here. Um, I know this sounds like highly similar to the landscape of Bowser's Fury. That was purely coincidental. I didn't even think about that until just now. Well, that's my two cents on Mario and Luigi. Please leave video suggestions down below, as I'm just sort of doing whatever I feel like right now. Also, comment what you thought of my very limited pitch on Mario and Luigi, and thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.